talk a little bit about some of the clients you worked with uh, during Black Friday and what were the things that really worked well for you? The, the way that we approach Black Friday and the holidays is a little bit, um, perhaps it's non-traditional in, in, the, in the ways that most other groups or companies ap approach Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, and specifically kind of like that Black Friday, that, that BFCM weekend, Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend uh, from basically, you know, uh, uh, Friday all the way until uh, Tuesday uh, is really when, when people are running it. And we kind of, the way that we see it is everyone, especially when you're buying ads on, on Facebook uh, or, or just media buying in general, that is going to be your most competitive time of the year, really, is that Black Friday through Cyber Monday weekend. And so the way that we approach that is knowing that, yes, we want to go toe to toe with everyone that, you know, all, all of our competition and everyone else that's targeting people that fall inside of our audiences. But at the same time, we also want to give ourselves enough time for ads to optimize, for people to see ads, maybe for the competitiveness to go down. So the economics uh, are a little bit better um, in our ad buys. And so we actually will start typically on Thanksgiving and then run either all the way through maybe uh, either minimum 10 days, but but most of the time uh, we'll actually run our Black Friday, Cyber Monday as an extended holiday campaign. And we actually just kind of structure what we're offering um, within that campaign. So the way that we plan for Black Friday and Cyber Monday is yes, we do plan for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and that weekend in between, but we're actually planning and setting goals uh, that that extend further um, further into the further into the holidays, just to give ourselves more time to find success and for everyone else to kind of run out of ad spend and ramp down their ads, so it's more economic for us to buy ads. Uh, usually in the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, following Cyber Monday. That's so really just focusing on the on the like, and, and do the ad costs come down significantly during that period? Is um, that like a big part of the strategy? Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, our, our media buying team, my media buying team specifically uh, will, will come to me and say like, hey, uh, here, here's the four ad accounts that I'm just going to go ahead and recommend that we turn off ads now. Because, uh, you know, if, if a client gives you a $5,000 budget, a $10,000 budget, a $50,000 budget or a $100,000 budget, right? Like there becomes a point where the amount of budget you're given it to go toe to toe with everyone. Um, that that that's trying to target the same people that you're targeting. The CPMs go up, and so therefore, you know, your cost per clicks and, and just the the efficiency or the cost of your traffic increases. And so they'll come to me and say, like, "Hey, I'd rather spend this money starting on Tuesday. It's it's just not worth it for us to compete right now. There's some sort of diminishing returns. They're confident that we can actually get more return once Cyber Monday ends. And yeah, we we do see very interesting. And, and you just ran the same discount creative after the fact just like cyber week or whatever, or was it not discounted after the fact? It, it depends. And, and so I'm, I'm happy to talk about that. And this is actually one thing that I recommend for all smaller e-commerce brands. If you have an ad budget of about $5,000 every 30 days, so $5,000 a month, I would recommend that, that you, do, and also if, if you, if you don't consider yourself an expert media buyer, if you don't consider yourself an expert at conversion rate optimization, if you don't consider yourself an expert at reading analytics and being able to chart them and make decisions off of them, I do not recommend for you to spend a majority of your budget in four days. There's just not enough time for your experience level to optimize and, and get the, the correct amount of ROI that you're looking for. So that being said, a lot of our clients that have smaller budgets, what, what we like to do is we like to have our campaigns, again, run from, so we'll do holiday campaigns. It'll typically start on Thanksgiving and it'll actually run in through about December. Last year was December 13th, I believe. And this year it'll be December 15th, uh, which because uh, in USPS, US uh, Postal Mail, the last time to uh, ship something is on December 18th for it to arrive by Christmas. And so uh, we want to give about three days order processing time. So we'll kill ads on about the 13th. Um, but we'll run ads from December 13th or Thanksgiving Day all the way to December 13th with an entire holiday campaign. Now, back to your offer, we will start with our biggest offer is going to be typically on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, right? Or 
and, and then we'll we'll have other offers. So we'll be like, hey, use this discount code on Cyber Monday and Black Friday. But all of the products that are on sale are also already marked down on the store. So on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, there's a little bit of extra incentive. However, we're running discounts or we're running our promotions um, and, and our campaigns for much longer than just like a, a five to six day period. We're running it for a 14 day period. And the reason that we do that is just so we can get, you know, we have a lot of clients, our media buyers are busy. And honestly, uh, we're already looking at the account, you know, pretty much hourly, but just to give ourselves time to look at the results, make decisions, optimize landing page, op optimize creatives, optimize targeting, um, and, and optimize our entire marketing stack in general, we'll give ourselves more time. And so what we'll actually see is we'll get a big rush and then it'll be either the same offer or a, or a slightly different offer. Um, so I'll give you an example. So basically, uh, for Born and Raised Outdoors, we know like we know what their their best offer was. Their best offer at and the thing that provided the most value wasn't to give a discount on their products. They wanted to give their 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 customers a gift. So they put together a gift package that was worth $150. So they have a DVD set of all of their hunts combined to, to something they call the Seasons DVD set. And they also made a limited edition shirt that you cannot purchase. The only way that you can get it is by spending a certain amount of money. So when you spend $75 or more on their store, you get this free gift worth $125. It's a $100 gift set and a $25 limited edition shirt that you can't purchase. Well, a lot of their fans really like them. Of course, they want that DVD set because they're really interested in their content. And also they really want that shirt because it's limited edition. Uh, so there's a little bit of scarcity there involved, but it is a quality product overall. And so we know that if we ran that campaign for five days, let's say we ran it from, uh, or, or, or X amount of days, let's say we ran it from Thanksgiving until Cyber Monday. Does that really give all of their fans, the hundreds and thousands of people that follow them, uh, does that really give their fans and their brand and their their consumers enough time to take advantage of that gift promo? No, we want a lot more time. We want to hit them with multiple emails, but we don't want to be annoying. So we we need more time. Uh, we want to we we want to spend you know maybe fifteen to, to fifty thousand dollars depending on what the ROI is from these ad buys, but we don't want to have to cramp that into five days. So a really good example of a promo that will actually be running from Thanksgiving all the way until Christmas Eve is the spend 75, get the $125 gift set for free. That is a great promotion to never change for about 30 days. So you're going basically like no, like Thanksgiving all the way to Christmas Eve. And the reason why you would do that is because this is a big promotion. It's a big gift. They have inventory that they had to purchase for the gifts. It makes logical business sense. And it also... It's just something that we can constantly promote uh, throughout their video series in ads and emails and Facebook Messenger campaigns. Um, and so that's a great opportunity. If you're going to promote a, a free gift during the holiday season for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I really recommend that you extend that out to give yourself more opportunity to take advantage of. Um, it's, and, it's and it's a simple transaction. Like it's not just like, hey, pay for this, get this. It's like, offer something that builds hype. And so you have to give it time to grow and foster and, and get momentum basically to get the full value out of it. Yeah. Also, it's just, uh, frankly, to me, it's like, it's almost a little rude to a consumer to be like, hey, spend 75 bucks on our store and get this free gift set, but you only have three days to make a decision on $75 worth of the stuff from our store. It's like, okay, why don't you advertise your product to them? Let them know what you